Some very tense moments as the city rings in the new year. Celebratory gunfire appears to have hit a Detroit Fire Department EMS rig while crews were headed to the scene of an accident. Rod Maloney spoke to the police and the firefighters. The sun rises on a new year, a new decade in the city of Detroit, a fresh start for many people, at least that's how they look at it. But in the city of Detroit, there's something very old and long standing on this day, gunfire causing trouble. This is what the city of Detroit sounded like in and around midnight New Year's Eve, the rat-a-tat-tat -tat crackle of celebratory gunfire aimed in the air. Quickly, Detroit 911 dispatch heard this call. We just got hit by a bullet. Indeed, what goes up must come down, and it did here on I-96 in the Davison as the Detroit EMS unit sped to an accident on the lodge. We're fine. It hit our window. Detroit Firefighters Union Vice President Bill Hart says the crew made it sound like no big deal, but... They had glass all over them. He had to get out. They'd, you know, brush the glass off of them. Here are pictures of the damaged EMS unit. The windshield puck marked, but no hole. Detroit fire repair crews said that they thought it was a rock that struck the windshield. But Hart says there were no other vehicles near or around that rescue on the highway. The concept that this was a rock is, is really ridiculous. And ridiculous has long been Detroit Police Chief James Craig's assessment of this Motown New Year's tradition. There's no place in the city of Detroit for celebratory gunfire. Repeated campaigns of hugs not bullets and bells not bangs haven't curbed the practice. It just doesn't seem that that's getting through. And we've had fatalities in the past and individuals injured. Whether it was a rock or a bullet, the Detroit Fire Department is telling us they're just happy nobody was hurt. And considering that there was a police report filed, they're going to follow up in the days to come. In Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4.